So the living room is now rearranged and I'm feeling pretty happy about it. It feels very good. I'm actually sitting at my husband's desk right now and I'm using it to edit, which is really nice. It's nice having a desk that's facing the room because it was against the wall. Now what is left is for me to figure out the room behind me. It's a big mess. It's supposed to be the formal dining room, but it's our closet because there's no closet in this area. The entrance to this house, like with the closet, is a part of my brother-in-law's space. That's why we made this room for our stuff and we don't have a dining table anymore. We still have it, but it's just not set up. During the winter time, it just becomes crazy because we have so many coats. Nice little overview. Have to figure out what to do with the mirror because Michael took it down because he was sitting in his chair and looking over and seeing himself. I don't know where that's going. Over here is my clothing rack, his clothing rack. Also, this was where the desk is now. So that's why it's in the middle of the room. Um, a bunch of shoes. And over here is a shelf. You've probably seen this before. We've had it forever. I just can't get rid of it because it's just too practical. And this ottoman that we don't use because it just takes up too much space. We have things that are for outside. And coming back from the desk, there's this coat rack that has a bunch of my stuff. Michael's shelf with a bunch of his, I don't know, man stuff, whatever he needs. And waters and a chair and a table and our recycling bin. So that's what I mean by this is our storage, like mud room area. It's just not a cute room, but I want to make it cute, you know? I just brought these pillows down, the Hedwig and the Owl pillow. And Levi is just all over, just kneading away at Hedwig. <laughs> so funny. Hey guys, it's a different day and I have a really exciting update of the room that I had to make over. I spent a lot of time just seeing how it would look best and I came up with an amazing solution. It looks so good. It looks like an actual closet. So without further explanation, here it is. So here is an overview. I have this in the middle and it makes it feel like a nice little hallway. So I have this chair that I refuse to get rid of because it's an antique and it is kind of convenient if I need, you know, to sit, put on my shoes, but there's, yes, a basket on top. We have my coats and this is open for me because I actually keep socks right by the door. And I have a sad plant there that needs to be disposed of my shoes and Michael's clothing rack. There's still just storage like bags and things. And this light right here is really nice because it's more in the center of the room versus it was in the corner. So it actually illuminates the room and it just looks so cozy at night. On this side, we just have some bins. Right over here, we have this coat rack, which is not the cutest, but it's fine. And the... <laughs> ottoman with the back cushion because we do not use the back cushion. We just need to get rid of it. This morning I actually spent time cleaning the bathrooms and shower and all that kind of stuff. So it was definitely a lot of work that needed to be done. And then I showered. So I have fresh hair, not the best hair, but it's fine. I'm actually about to go out as well to the stores. I have to pick up a Walmart order and go to Home Goods. We're just gonna look at some Christmas decor, but also try to find some like house essentials that we just don't have anymore. I don't know where all the microfiber cloths went, but I need more. Okay, outfit time. We have a cute little skirt. Just got this Abercrombie is on sale. Little belt, this like tank that's active is from Old Navy, H&M sweater that I kind of did up with some lace black tights, my Timberland boots, and my little All Saints bag that's actually ancient. seeing a lot of white and silver and gold. I got some trees. Um, I still want to find a different skirt. I understand now the smaller skirt because you have a skinny tree. So the big skirt just kind of looks weird. I feel like there's more I have to explore. Um, I really am not decided on what kind of style I want. I'm just kind of like getting inspiration right now. And right now I'm not really feeling it. I guess we'll browse at dish towels. 
I want some jewel tone things, kind of like vintagey. Like, this is cute, but I feel like I want purple. I don't know if I'm gonna find what I want, but they have variety. I really like this. It's just black. Oh my gosh, pastel. But it's like sparkly just for show. And the cats. This one could work. It looks very like fantasy, which might be the vibe. I think that's it, but I kind of want it to be darker. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the cart just in case. This is so cute, but it's $30 and not what I'm looking for, but I just, I, I can't believe they have stuff like this. It is plastic though. come into Michael's and just take a look at what they have because I'm feeling they'll have more color but I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy anything else today. For baubles, this is looking beautiful. Oh my gosh. Hold on. They have one back there. That looks pretty. This is the difference. These are darker. These are brighter. morning it is day three of this vlog I believe so I have a haul now to show you I definitely feel a bit more inspired after doing my writing this morning I'm now two and a half weeks into the artist's way and I've definitely been struggling with writing but I think I am I don't know I'm feeling a little bit better at this point because of the decorating aspect so yeah my creative juices are flowing in my head and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep everything that I got yesterday because, I don't know, I have to test it out. So first thing is this little tree skirt. It's so pretty. It has pearls. It's very glitzy and glammy and I just want to wear it. Um, might I keep it just to wear it? I'm not really sure. But once I open this, I can't return it because it's obviously like this. I'm also not sure if this is a theme that I was going for. I bought it because it's gorgeous and I want it on my body. Like, would that be, would that be weird? I feel like it would look weird. I don't know. It's definitely too glam. Oh my gosh, he's, <laughs> he's already like, is that for me to lay on? Oh my gosh. Sorry, no. If you've been here, you know that this is my old tree skirt. It's just cable knit with this faux fur. And it's not exactly wearable for me. It has Velcro. So I would have to like put something cute on it in order to wear it like a cape. But he loves this one. Shmifi loves it. I'm just going to put it under the tree because I feel bad now. <laughs> We've also had this for, I think, four years, five years, six years. I don't even know. Come on. It's always with the biting. I found this tree. It looks hand carved, kind of Scandinavian, and it has like white glitter all over it. Very cute. I imagine this in the kitchen. I wanted to try to get more bigger statement pieces because I just end up with a lot of little things, which I'm finding may not be the best because it overcomplicates things. This is the first thing that I grabbed. It's a Martha Stewart bottle brush tree combo. I just realized that they're all the same size tree. I just love the jewel tones. And when I saw this, this is where my main inspiration came from. So I, I'm not sure now because they're all the same size, unless I scatter them throughout the house and kind of make the house cohesive because I find that my decor kind of is all over the place. And it was $13. I didn't buy any fall decor this year. And when I saw this, I um, just lost it a little bit. It's a table runner but it's a short one. And I'm not even thinking of using this as a table runner. I'm thinking of using this as like a wall hanging, like a tapestry because it ties in all the colors that we like to use and it's not too orange, like there's still blue, so it's a mix of warm and cool. I just love textile art and this is embroidered. Also, the Tahari brand is just so beautiful. They have my heart, I swear. 
They're dangerous. I have some not fun things, like regular home things. Like I said, I needed to replace or stock up on some stuff. So I got a shower curtain liner because the one I have is stained no matter how many times I wash it. So did that. Found a squeegee because I follow this page on YouTube called Clean My Space and she has a bunch of cleaning hacks. I basically was watching a bunch of her videos. She said that if you squeegee your shower, that reduces the soap scum. So I'm hoping to get into the habit of doing that. Microfiber cloths, I usually get them on Amazon or at Home Goods. This was a 12 pack for $7. Yes. And the color is very clean. We've had blue, no, not blue. We've had green and orange and black, but I feel like these just make me want to clean. I got this little notepad set. It's very adorable. When I'm writing my morning pages, I find that I want to jot things down, like make lists, like checklists or things I have to do. And I've been writing them on random pieces of paper and little post-its. And I want things to not look so messy and post-its, they have the regular yellow ones and they're just not, not my vibe. So I'm gonna keep these everywhere. This item is not for me. Um, it's for my nephew. It's very cute. Not sure if my friends are going to be watching my videos, but I only have one little nephew and I saw this and I had to get it for him. So if you don't want to know what it looks like, just skip over like 15 seconds. But uh, here it is. It's this little snow globe with a dinosaur over a tree, like he's attacking the tree because he really loves um, dinosaurs right now. And it's just, I don't know, I saw it and it was so funny. Now we have the towels, which I lose my mind when it comes to looking at towels for some reason. I just don't know what it is. So for the house, I decided to get this pack, as in like the bathrooms, and I think that's it. Yeah, because this is just nice and plain. I don't feel like I'll have to put it away right away after the holidays because there's no like, I don't know, trees or presents or it doesn't say Merry Christmas on it. I just want to be kind of simple, but also with the gold. And I wanted to get something with red. The kitchen towels, on the other hand, I struggled with. And I ended up getting the ones that were black because the kitchen is actually a lot of black. There's no white except for the coffee bar, which I don't even like being white. So I thought the kitchen towels didn't have to be colored. They could just kind of blend in because there's something that, I don't know, could be festive, but doesn't have to be festive. Also, the texture of these are just very kitchen towel-y. Last thing I found are these curtain panels. I don't know what they look like because it was in a bag like this. They're $9, but they're two window panels, 50 by 96. So I'd have to cut them, but that means I would get more curtains. And they were $9, so let's see what they look like. So it's just this silvery, woven. This right here is what I'm happy about, 100% cotton. So it'll actually be a little bit insulating and not just let all the heat out. You guys, I was fooled. Okay, so <laughs> these are two completely different curtains. I saw sparkly fabric in there and I opened that one and was like, wait, where's the sparkly fabric? So these are just two random, two random ones? No. Same designer, still 100% cotton, but can I make these into two curtains? Because if that's the deal, then no problem. I've never had a sparkly type of curtain, so this could be cute.